Hi everyone, my name is Maxime Chagnot. I'm a Katia consultant working for PLN Technology in Norway. And today we'll perform a live demonstration of the 3D experience release 20 next on cloud. This is the second part of the video introduction to dynamic simulation. And today we'd like to show you how we can play with the restitution coefficient in the contact. Okay, so as you can see here, I have an assembly composed of uh, a ball on top, three trampoline, as you can see with the color, and a small ball on the bottom. And what we will play uh, today is we will let the ball fall and bound, rebound on this trampoline and arrive on the ball at the end. So what do you need to do when you have an assembly like that? First of all, you should always check that you have something fixed. And as you can see here, there is no engineering connection, meaning that there is no fix at all. So we will start by fixing the ball on the bottom. Okay, good so far. Now what we can do is also add the contacts. And to do that, we need to switch to mechanism system design. So I will just check there on the 3D and I have it on my favorite. So I just click there. Okay, mechanical system design, here we are. And now we can add contacts between the parts. So let's start. Uh, we will add four contacts. Uh, why four? Because we have one with the ball and each trampoline and at the end one with the ball and the other ball here. So let's start the ball and the ball. Oops, sorry. Group one, you select one element, click on OK, and then group two, select a second element. OK. And here we have the restitution coefficient. And this, for the moment, will keep to zero. OK, I continue doing my contact between the trampoline one and the ball. And Restitution coefficient zero again. Okay, we continue with the other one. And the last one. Here we are, we have one fix and the contact between each trampoline and the ball. Okay, you can update, everything is good. And now we can create a mechanism. Here it is. And we can see everything is there. Okay. But before we continue, there is obviously a problem here. Actually, there is two problems. First of all, this, the ball, is the only one that is fixed. So we need to make the other trampoline fixed. Otherwise, when we will put gravity in the dynamic simulation, everything will fall except the ball. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, as you can see in my design here, I only have surface. And this looks nice, but it will not work because in dynamic simulation, we need weight. Therefore, if we need weight, we need solid. So we have to switch this surface here as solid. And this is what I already did in each part. I have a part body here. I can just hide and show and hide the surface. And now I'm sure I have a solid. So I will do the same with the other part and then we can check the weight. Okay. Here it is, everything is solid now, so everything should have a weight. So let's verify that by clicking on the weight definition. You can also look on the BI Essential, you will find it here in Tools, BI Essential, you will also find weight definition. But here it's a shortcut. So we check there. Okay, as I told you in the previous video, if something is red, this is not good. Here it's okay, we just have to click on 
hyperlink to update the weight. Okay, it's huge because it's using the density of, of steel, but it's not a really a problem for our uh, video, our scenario. Okay, now everything is more or less okay. If we would like to have something better, we should have material that will have better density, obviously, and then put the correct weight. We can also declare the weight if we want to. Okay, so that's one step of the scenario. We have the weight, but now we also have to fix the other part. So we can go to engine aggression, or you can just click on fix. As you can see, trampoline. We can also select fix together, saying that the trampoline, all of them, have the same uh, have the same are fixed together with the ball. So then we know that all of this part rigid. Uh, will not move or will have the same connection as the fix here. So now we should have everything, but remember that if you go to mechanism manager, you have to add the latest uh, engineering connection you have been adding to your assembly. And now we can add the region. Of course, uh, this is red again regarding the degrees of freedom because we are not doing kinematic, we are doing dynamic. So we, we, we will have movement and we will have uh, interaction between parts. So it's okay to have several uh, degrees of freedom. Okay, we can always do uh, save. And go to mechanism system experience. So again, I will search directly. It's the one with the play button here. And I don't create any scenario because we will do a dynamic scenario. So we can call it uh, trampoline simulation. Great. Of course, now we can maybe change the view and go to custom view. So then we can remove the no wire, no axis no point so then we have a better uh, render of our assembly okay and as you know the restitution is equal to zero now okay so let's create a dynamic scenario this is exactly the same we did last time i click on okay but remember that i don't have any gravity excitation so this is will not work okay we add the gravity excitation remember to have the correct axis this is set on my case so that's good i click on okay now I can just go back to my scenario and select the gravity. It's already selected, so that's great. We don't put any prop for the moment and we can just put, let's put one second for the moment. And here, remember you have to play a bit with this. Uh, in that case, I will use the Simpletic Euler. Uh, I'm not sure exactly why is that one, but I guess it's when there is like high speed contact, for example, I don't know. Uh, but let's try that and Okay, from now on, we just have to compute the, the scenario here. Okay, so we can watch the result now. And click on play. And as you can see, well, it's falling straight to the ball, but it's not touching the other trampoline. So we can play a bit with the restitution coefficient now. And how do we do that? We just have to go back to our uh, previous assembly here and we just have to update the contact we have. So let's start from the first on top. I will put not zero this time, but one. Okay, no clash, update and switch to the simulation. And we double click on the scenario and we run the simulation again. Okay, that's not bad. We are touching the blue one now, but it's not touching the, or the pink. So I edit again. This time I will select the contact number four, click on here and I will put, I think if I put one, this might be a bit too big and will go over the pink. We can try, click on one, but I think one might be too big. Let's see. Okay, it's really easy because we can easily switch from one to another and just replay a bit the scenario. Yes, that's what I expected. So as you can see, if we replay the scenario here, 
you will see the ball is going way over. So let's reduce the restitution coefficient here to 0.5 maybe. Okay, I remove that. I switch here. And contact this one. We switch to 0.5. That sounds good. And this one has no connection to, so I will also put 0.5. Okay, update, switch to my mechanical system experience. I compute the scenario another time. Okay, okay. And this one is perfect, but it's not long enough. So it's no problem. We can just switch to parameter and this time I will put two seconds. And now we can compute the scenario again. Yes, and now everything falls together in it. So now you have the result, so you have no problem. You can just play it again uh, as much as you want. Okay. You can maybe extract this uh, to make a video, or we can also have different angle, like multi-view. So then you have different orientation. This might be a bit too much, but you will see it should work. So then you can analyze this in all direction. Okay, so that was it for today. Uh, now you have uh, seen how we can work with restitution coefficient. Uh, in the next video I will do, in part three, I will show you how we can do a group of contact, uh, a ball with other ball together. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, I will come back with new tutorials soon. Uh, in the meantime, you can just watch our YouTube channel and visit our website, www.plmtechnology.com. Thank you very much. Goodbye.